you know, sometimes the trip is more important than the photographs you get. Sometimes the session is more important than the the results. And that happened to me last week and uh, on Saturday evening Kari Paukala, the good friend of mine, uh, called me and said like would I be up to a short trip, uh, you know, photo trip. The next day, Sunday evening, it is supposed to be a warm day and warm night, so I said, yeah, why not? Let's let's make it happen. I met Kari at his home and then we drove down to uh, the Porkala Peninsula. It's a stretch of land about 30 kilometers west from Helsinki. It sort of stretches in the middle of the Gulf of Finland so that it is only about 30 kilometers from Estonia like if you are into geography but it's a stretch of land in the middle of the Gulf of Finland there's a lot of seabirds and cliffs and whatnot a typical Finnish coastal scenery as I said it was really a warm day it was about 30 degrees centigrade almost 90 Fahrenheit and the night was supposed to be warm so we thought that we're gonna shoot the entire evening and then all the way through the night till the next morning at this time of the year, the sun sets around 11 p.m. and it gets up again around like 2 a.m. Hey dude, it's more like 4 a.m. Do your research. So there's hardly any night between sunset and sunrise. Also, the sunset and sunrise is really slow. So there's a plenty of time to take your photos and actually enjoy the scenery. Not only like trying to get the... the that second when the sun is in the right position and the light is right because that time stretches over several hours it's really interesting when the sunset and sunrise is like a slow motion like it is up here in the in the north anywho so we drive to the Porkala a Peninsula parking lot and I immediately noticed that I made one mistake I have taken all my Hasselblad gear with me. I had the Hasselblad 500 cm, I had the super wide, I had three lenses, I got all kind of extension thingies and I got four bags and then I got the tripod and as I said it was really hot so I needed to carry a lot of water on me. Now luckily it was only about a mile hike to the tip of the peninsula but nevertheless I mean for an old man it started to feel pretty tiring but we had a lot of fun and we walked slowly but you know once again like over and over again during these trips I need to remind myself that don't take with you everything that you own take just one camera one lens and one type of film and I always get better pictures when I do it like that. And yet I always take everything that I own with me. I don't know, there's, there's something psychological not having the courage to leave any gear behind but trying to get everything. Anyway, so now we get then to the end of the uh, peninsula and then I needed to swim and I just needed to get into the sea. I was so, you know, sweaty and, and it was so hot. Let me show you, like I had a little mini camera with me, so I took some shots, so let me show you what the scenery looked like. I had two types of film with me. I had one roll of Pora 160. Then I had several rolls of Lomo 400, but I didn't shoot any. You know, I just shot one color film roll. And then I had my lady's favorite Ilford FP4 on me. And I shot quite a bit, like maybe three rolls of that. So all in all, four rolls of film during that evening, night, and the next morning. 
Then around the midnight, Curry fixed us some food. He had a gas burner with him and he made us some, I don't know, chili con carne or I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not into food, so. But it was really delicious. I mean, of course, we'd been walking the whole day, so I was getting pretty hungry. And, and uh, he's an excellent chef. No, it was just one of those baggy foods where you pour water in and it's ready. But it was delicious. Um, and then we shot some more and then around maybe 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, I thought I need a nap. And the sun had already set, but the cliffs were so warm because of the warm day. And it was still over 20 degrees centigrade. So I just laid down on that cliff, on the rock and just closed my eyes and slept probably an hour, hour and a half. Um, I didn't know that I can sleep on bare uh, rocky surface. I don't need no mattress or pillows. I think those soft things are overvalued in a modern life. And the only problem was that there were quite a bit of mosquitoes and, and it's not the bite of mosquitoes, I don't mind those, they don't seem to affect me that much. But there's something primal, something in the noise of a mosquito, that, you know, that high-pitched whining noise that goes into our uh, prehistorical brains and says us, wake up and get away. <sighs> you know, it's just, it's just so annoying. Anyway, but I managed to get some sleep. Let me show you some of the pictures that I took. Now, um, it wasn't the ideal place to shoot photos. There were too many islands close by and I didn't get that favorite, you know, ocean or, or sea view where you can just see miles and miles away. And then it got a little bit windy and that broke the surface of, of the sea and that, you know, so... So from the photography point of view as a destination, yeah, it's okay, but there are better places. Uh, but as a place to spend a night on a cliff, yeah, it's it's a perfect four-star cliff hotel if you are ever into those. So then we woke up uh, 4, 3, 4 a.m. I don't think Kari slept at all, but you know, I woke up then and then we took f uh, a few more pictures and, and drove home and I was home by 10. What a nice trip. I don't know about these pictures. These are a little bit cliche, but once again, it was really nice to get out, spend the night on a cliff and shoot some old fashioned film.